You see them popping up everywhere. These campaign signs are now crowding metro intersections. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Shambach. And I'm Ariel Reshef in for Paul tonight. Some say those signs are actually illegal and want the city to get rid of them. KSEO's Brian Schlonsky joins us live from near Britain and May. Brian, what can the city do? Yes, Ariel, the city can come through and pick up these signs. It costs thousands of dollars, but unless they actually catch somebody putting one of these signs out here, there isn't a whole lot else they can do. You've seen the signs, and you probably know their message, but did you know that all of these are breaking the law? City Council is not a fan of illegally placed signs. They consider it litter on a stick. Campaign signs have been shooting up around the city for weeks. Oklahoma's primary election is tomorrow. We try to get them up when we see them going out, but it's sometimes very difficult to keep up with the pace. Signs aren't allowed within 300 feet of the polls. That's why workers are removing these. All electioneering is prohibited, not just signs. That means people having campaign paraphernalia. They're supposed to uh, remove that before they enter the polling location. But signs sitting too close aren't the only lawbreakers. Turns out they're all illegal. And even during election season, four part time city employees are tasked with cleaning up the entire city. Hey, it does cost the city thousands of dollars a year to pick up illegally placed signs, and we pick up thousands and thousands of them year round. Anyone caught putting up signs on city property will get a ticket, but unless the city catches a candidate doing it, chances are the campaign will never pay a fine. So why hasn't the city cleaned up any of these yet? Well, first of all, there are a lot of them throughout the city, and secondly, as soon as the city cleans them up, it seems like they keep showing back up. For now, reporting live. Brian Slonsky, KOCO 5 News.